Today I will explain to you the poem Three Years She Grew by William Wordsworth. The poem was written for a girl named Lucy who grew up in the midst of nature. This poem is one of the Lucy poems of Wordsworth which was composed between September 1798 and February 1799. The poem is a representative poem of Wordsworth and the age of the Romantic Revival in English poetry. Lucy was an orphan who lived alone in the woods. At the beginning of the poem, Lucy was said to be at the age of three. She has lived in sun and shower and in a natural environment uncorrupted by human practices and ideas. She was able to bear the heat of the sun and the cold showers or rain. Nature here is personified as a mother who adopts a little orphan girl. Lucy is compared to a flower because of her beauty and the natural way in which she was brought up. Nature here is portrayed as a responsible and loving mother. This child I to myself will take. She shall be mine and I will make her a lady of my own. Nature fondly calls Lucy her darling or her dearest one. Nature will take it upon herself to educate Lucy. The type of education that she will receive would be a natural type of education. Nature will be to Lucy both law and impulse. <coughs> L-A-W, law means rules, what is right and wrong. Impulse means emotions or strong feelings. As a provider of law or rules, nature would restrain Lucy from evil desires. As impulse, nature would inspire her to noble ideas and deeds. She wanted to develop in Lucy a balance between law and impulse. This is the principal objective or main aim or goal of nature's education. That is, to teach Lucy not through instruction but through inspiration. The places where nature will teach or impart her education to Lucy will be in Wordsworth's own words, in rock and plain, in earth and heaven, in glade and bower. Rock here means the rocky mountains and hills. Plain means the flat areas of soil. A glade, G-L-A-D-E, means an open space in a forest. A bower, B-O-W-E-R, is a shady place under trees and plants. Wherever she will be, in the hills or plains, in the forests or in the open areas, she shall feel an overseeing power to kindle and inspire her to do good and to restrain her from evil things. Under the education of nature, she shall be sportive or playful as the fawn, that run wildly with glee or great joy across the lawns or grassy fields. She shall run gleefully or joyfully up to the mountain springs. She shall feel the breathing balm or the gentle breeze that will be like a soothing and healing ointment for her wounds. She will learn to be calm and quiet and to have peace of mind by watching the mute, insensate things or the inanimate objects of nature. Lucy will also learn stateliness and a sense of dignity by looking at the floating clouds in the sky. She will learn modesty and humility from the willow tree that easily bend its branches.